Hey there! My name is Kristen and today I'll be showing you the different ways you can install Addis on your Shopify website. There are two main ways to install Addis, using our Addis Shopify app or installing our code directly into your Shopify theme files. First, I'm going to show you how to install Addis using our Shopify app. To get started, log into your Shopify account and find the Apps option in the left side navigation. Then, click the App Store button in the upper right hand corner. Using the search bar at the top, search for Add This and select the result labeled Add This Sharing Tool. Once you're on the Add This product page, click Get and confirm that you would like to install the app. Now it's time to configure your tools. Select the button style that you would like to use, and if you've already created an Add This account, you can choose to add your unique Add This Profile ID under the Tracking section. You can find your unique profile ID by logging into your Add This account and clicking the Profile Settings tab. Your profile ID will be in the general section under ID. Creating an Add This account grants you access to our entire suite of website tools and the addthis.com dashboard, which allows you to check in on your site's metrics with our detailed analytics report. The best part? Creating an account is entirely free. If you do not wish to create an account, no problem. You'll still be able to add our core web tools to your website. Next, you'll need to add a snippet of code to your website where you want your Add This buttons to appear. You can find this snippet of code in step 4 of the app install instructions or in your Add This dashboard in the Get the Code section under Shopify. For this example, I'll show you how to add the sharing buttons on the products pages just below the product description. Back in your Shopify dashboard, click Online Store in the left navigation. Click the Actions dropdown in your current theme, then select Edit Code. Next, you'll need to find the template that you would like your tools to appear on. For this example, that's the products template. Determine where you want the tools to show up and drop the snippet of code that you've copied. Once you have your code in place, click Save. And you're all set! Your Add This button should be appearing on your products page. Next, I'm going to show you how you can install Add This directly into your Shopify website without installing the app. First, navigate to your theme editor by selecting Online Store and then Edit Code from the Actions dropdown in your current theme. Under Snippets, select Add a New Snippet. Title the new snippet Add This, all lowercase, and click Create. You should see the snippet Add This.Liquid appear in your snippets list. Next, if you haven't already, you'll need to go to addthis.com slash register to sign up for an account. Once you've signed up, log into your Add This dashboard and navigate to the Tools section. You'll want to activate the inline sharing buttons. Customize the tools to your liking, then click Save and Continue. Once you're finished, navigate to the Get the Code section and turn on the Code Only view. There are two pieces of code that you'll want to paste into the Add This.Liquid snippet. The first will be under HTML and should look something like this. And the second should look something like this. Once you've added both sets of code, save your snippet. Then you'll need to add the liquid code to the template where you would like your buttons to appear. You can find this liquid code in your Add This dashboard under the Shopify instructions. Then just save your template. And that's it! If you run into any issues, please feel free to contact our support team by emailing help at addthis.com or tweeting us at addthissupport and our dedicated support team will be there to assist you. Thanks!